Welcome to the Fun Astrology Podcast. We've got a new week and a new month this week. Thomas Miller here. Thanks for joining us. I have all the windows and doors open on Lord Jupiter, my sprinter van where I'm currently traveling in central Florida, Mount Dora, if you'd like to track the journey. That will be for the rest of this week. What a neat area and a cool town. They have a charming downtown area. If you're ever in this neck of the woods, make sure you see it. And no, I'm not telling you Aquarians what to do. (laughs) Let's talk about, speaking of Aquarius, let's talk about today's astrology. Oh, by the way, we are going to have a group reading. I'll tell you more about it at the end, but if you want the quick shot, it's going to be February 21st, 7 p.m. Eastern, and all the information is on a link right on the homepage at the top of the funastrology.com website. I'll tell you more at the end. I know you're slurping your last sips of coffee and need to get on with your day. Let's go. Moon enters Gemini. Moon entered Gemini. Let's use the correct tense of that verb. 3.34 this morning, Eastern Time. That's the only exact alignment between now and Wednesday. So we'll set up Wednesday. Tomorrow, I'm going to talk a little bit more about some things that I'm watching. It really was a continu- would be a continuation of what we discussed last Tuesday. Just reconciling the chart and what's going on in our world and looking for those hot spots of vulnerability. That's all. We'll do that tomorrow. Now, under this Gemini moon, and remember Mars is in Gemini, so there's an extra activation. What did the already corrupt Memphis Police Department do on the day that the moon wobble peaked? They released a video of incredible, unspeakable violence and what's been happening since. I mean... This is where I don't understand. I mean, one day astrology will be consulted by people like this, but these folks released that video at the crest of the moon wobble. And I'm just looking at one article here. It says protests. Of course, you've seen all of this in Manhattan, Times Square, Washington Park, Memphis, of course. Also, it says Boston, Baltimore, Pittsburgh, and more. Let's transition ourselves to being the consulting astrologers to the Memphis Police Department. And they want to release this video. And they say, what do you think? And you say, well, as of five days ago, all of the planets are direct from retrograde. So whatever the response is, is going to be amplified. Also, there's this phenomenon called a moon wobble, which seems to trigger natural phenomena, particularly related to news type or collective events not the best time to, well, prevent more triggers, and certainly not the best time if you want to try to minimize inevitable reactions. And Mars, the planet that historically represents the god of war, is in a sign that itself is represented by division. Now, you absolutely could justifiably argue when is there ever a good time to release what they did. That would be never. We have this big trust issue going on right now anyway in these areas, so it might have been better to release it immediately. We'd have to go back and look at the chart at those times, but just be completely transparent. That would be playing a lot more into a a healthy Neptune, but trying to hide behind secrets. I don't see any other aspects in the chart this whole week that would help this situation. And here's another applying waxing scenario. On Saturday, we have late in the evening. Now, this will be while people are still out, if they still are. I presume they will be. Venus squares Mars Saturday night at 1030 Eastern Time. So we may be building toward no love lost in the divided sign of Gemini that this thing could flash flare. And we might have another Ferguson kind of situation on our hands. We will see. But you see how even these little minute areas of our life, I mean, let's talk about that you were having a conflict with your business partner and you needed to work some things out. When would be the best time to have done it? Not when the moon wobble is peaking. Same thing in your family or maybe with your kids. And this is where we can use these little subtle energies that we see in the daily sky to avoid the energy of amplified conflict. And maybe we could find a calmer time to work things out. And the other thing is, under this macro energy, be totally, truthfully transparent in all areas of our lives. Evidently, this police department has some skeletons in the closet that they're hiding. I think the way we need to live our lives and what we should actually demand, especially from these public quote-unquote servants, is complete transparency. And the 
quicker that we start to do that as cultures around the world, the faster we're going to move this in the right direction. Stay on the positive side of these aspects. It's the Tom Cruise, Jack Nicholson, I want the truth, and demand it. As that catches fire, can you imagine how this world would transform? Look at all the shenanigans that have been going on in so many areas. I'm not even going to try to list them. Build your own list. Seems it's everywhere. I mean, do you trust any politician? And if you are a politician, I don't mean to insult you if you are living the high consciousness life, but it is embedded in the stereotype of your culture. So if you are a politician, be a transparent one. If you're a police officer, don't lie. If you're a medical professional, don't lie. That's how we can change this culture in a very positive way, by demanding it, holding people accountable. And if they are elected and they lie, throw them out. Speaking of throwing out, I'm going to jump out. But before we do, let me tell you about this group reading. So what we're doing is Kristen Lawhead and I are co-collaborating on this. She is going to host this event. It's going to be live online February 21st, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. It's going to be broadcast on our YouTube channel, the Fun Astrology Podcast channel on YouTube, and also on our Facebook private group, which you do have to join by answering the questions, Subconscious Mind Mastery and Fun Astrology Podcast listeners on Facebook. Now, there are two ways that we're going to do this. First way is it's totally free, and it's going to be very much like we do Level Up. In other words, you can just jump in and watch, and you can comment from your keyboard, but not verbally or on camera. And we will acknowledge some of those comments, but not all, and here's why. Kristen and I, and eight of you, are going to be able to be on as participating readers and contributors. So you will be on camera, or you can put a slide up or something if you don't want to be, but you'll be able to participate at least audibly, and you can submit chart questions that we will answer, and you can contribute to the readings. But there are only eight slots for that, and that is a physical limitation because at my subscription level on the platform that we use for this called StreamYard, that's the maximum number. But replays will be available immediately after it's over, so you'll be able to watch it. If you can't attend and participate, you can at least watch. If you'd like more information, just go to the link at the top of the funastrology.com website. It'll explain everything, and from there, you can sign up. As long as you can add it to your cart, there's a button down at the bottom, purple button at the bottom. If you, As long as that's there, it still is available. If that button is gone, then it's just the announcement. Have a great Monday. I'll see you back tomorrow. Love you. Thanks for listening.